Let's get ready to rumble! الزنا لا يحرم لو واحد زنى بامرأة وحملت منه يقول لك إن هذا الماء غير محرم يعني إيه غير محرم يعني دي مش بنته يعني إيه برضو مش فاهم يا عم الشيخ يعني هل يجوز له نكاحها قال لك أيه جوزها عادي دي بنته قال لك مين اللي قال بنته هي لا بنته لا شرعا ولا شيء ما مش بنته لن تنسب له أصلا ولما واحد يزني بواحدة ويخلف منها بنت فكتب باسمه باسم الزاني لا أبدا أبدا يبقى مش بنته يعني قتل المرتد مو عشان يصير مسلم المرتد مرتكب لجرم مثل الزاني الزاني اذا كان محصنا يرجم اذا كان غير محصن يجلد السارق اذا اجتمعت شروط قطع اليد قطعت يده القاتل يقتل فهذه عقوبات هذه عقوبات لهؤلاء العمل الذي قاموا به ومنها المرتد اذا ارتد يقتل اذا تاب من الرده يترك ان هو يعاقب على هذا الفعل ان فيه استهتار بهذا الدين فيعاقب على هذا العمل كما لو سب الرسول او سب الله جل وعلا او كذا فانه يقتل لهذا الفعل وليس لاجل ان نغصبه على الاسلام الاسلام يعني لا يحتاج ولا يريد يعني مرتزقه يعني يصير مسلم ولا ذبح ناكل لكن لا لا ما نريد مرتزقة الكف... أول شيء السبي لا يكون إلا الكفار لا يجوز سبي مؤمن يعني لا يجوز يكون قتال بين مسلمين مثلا لأي سبب من الأسباب الفتن التي تحدث يكون قتال بين المسلمين لا يجوز السبي أبدا السبي لا يكون إلا الكافر لا يسبى المسلم أبدا وإنما يسبى الكافر وأنا أرجو أن الإنسان لا يخجل من دينه و يقول لا هذا قبل والإسلام لا يدعو إلى هذا لا كن, كن قويا في دينك أظهر دينك نعم هذا ديني نعم الذي لا يرضى أن يعبد الله تبارك وتعالى فإنه يستعبد أو يدفع الجزية أو يدخل في الإسلام أو يقاتل ها هذه الأحوال الأربعة أبدا لا يوجد حال خامس لذا أول ما يدعى الإنسان يدعى الإسلام يقول أعبد أعبد الله تبارك وتعالى الله خلقك لتعبده فإذا قال لا أريد أن أعبد الله تبارك نقول تعيش في أرض الله ولا تعبده ادفع الجزية نقول ولن أدفع الجزية فإذا رفض أن يعبد الله ورفض أن يدفع الجزية نقول له إذا ما لنا معك إلا القتال فنقاتله لأجل هذا فإن قتلناه فهو في النار وإن أسرناه فهو من السبي يصير عبدا رغما عنه لما رفض أن يكون عبدا مكرما باختياره فسيكون عبدا حقيرا بدون اختياره هكذا هو الأمر بالنسبة للذين لا يعبدون الله تبارك وهؤلاء يعني لا تشفقوا عليهم هؤلاء كفار هؤلاء يرفضون أن يعبدوا الله تبارك وتعالى يرفضون أمر الله جل وعلا يعادون الله يسبون الله جل وعلا فالإنسان لا تأخذه الشفقة على أعداء الله على ناس هم معتدون And you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life Nothing boy, you're finished already, look at me Look at me, you know you're done You are Ali 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 Wallahi Every single land Every single country Wallahi with all their governments and all their military force and all their might and all their science and all their money and all their know-how all with the exception of none every country every tree every grain of sand every mountain every river every ocean every ocean wallahi 
every star, every sun, every moon, every single planet, every single angel, the billions and billions and billions of angels, all of them, with the exception of none, Mikael, Jibrail, Israfil, all the first heaven, the second heaven, the third heaven, the fourth heaven, the fifth heaven, the sixth heaven, the seventh heaven, the ocean above it, the eight that carry the flame of Allah, the hearts of Allah, all are dead, all are dead. Oh. <laughs> Ali. Ali. Hello, hello. We are live on air. Welcome everybody. God bless you. God bless your families. I hope everybody is doing okay. Dude, the water, man. The water. <laughs> I hope you like our new intro, guys. Welcome everybody. Uh, guys, I really didn't want to go live on air today again because yesterday we had a long, long live show. I am tired, I'm still recovering, you know, I was sick for a couple of days. But because of your lovely prayers, we recovered and we are here. We are strong, we are better than ever, brother. <laughs> Welcome everybody, but you know, I could not hold myself back when I saw uh, Farid's video, you know. I, I don't, you know, I don't want to give this guy any, 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 anything, to be honest with you. This guy is nothing but a liar and a deceiver and his Muslim fans are enjoying his deception. His makr, the deception of Allah that he is using. He's nothing but a deceiver who is deceiving his Muslim audience and Muslims are lusting for this deception. What a shame. What a shame, Farida. What a shame. But we know Muslim apologists have no honor, they have no dignity, and they have certainly no shame. Inta ma'andak sharaf ya Farid. Inta bala asl, u ma'andak sharaf ya Gizzab ibn Gizzab. Shame on you. But we know you have no shame. Inta ma'andak sharaf. So you have to do it again. You had to do it again, man. You had to expose your prophet and you had to become an apostate publicly and you had to become a mushrik proclaiming that your prophet is nothing but God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. You left Islam my friend. Yesterday when you uploaded that video you left Islam and today we're going to spank you and show everybody that you're nothing but a mushrik proclaiming publicly that Muhammad is God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob of the ba Holy Bible, right? Congratulations, Mr. Farid, for becoming an apostate. You just left Islam. Congratulations. I hope that your Muslim fans are happy with you. Yes. <sighs> you know, guys, I really, I really didn't want to go live, to be honest with you. I'm tired. I'm disgusted of this evil cult, day in, day out, but we have to do this, guys. As long as there are Muslims who love to be deceived, who don't have the truth because they listen to these liars and deceivers, people like Farid, we have to step in, guys. We have to do this. All right? We have to do this. Now, before we start, guys, you know my habit. I like to start with a nice prayer so we can be guided and speak nothing but the truth. So I want to ask God to guide me. I want to ask my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the name of above all names, to guide us and bless today's live stream and our beloved audience who are watching and listening. So pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, please, please bless our beloved audience and subscribers. Lord, thank you for your grace. And we believe that you, Lord Jesus, are risen. And you are risen indeed. al Messiah qam. Haqqan qam. Nobody can do anything about it. Because that's an historical fact that Jesus is risen. al Messiah qam. Haqqan qam. Thank you for your ultimate gift, Lord. Thank you for your grace that saved us from death. And thank you for my lovely audience and subscribers who are always here day in day out to 
help us and spread this truth, Lord. Thank you so much for my family in Christ who are always here to support our ministry. Please bless them and bless their loved ones and families. And keep all of us healthy and safe, especially from the spread of this coronavirus, because it's nothing but a virus, Lord, that is deceiving 1.6 billion Muslims. Father, enfold us in your arms. Help us not to lean on our own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you, so that you can direct our words, thoughts, and actions. Give us a measure of your strength, so that we might not give in to any discouragement, deception, taqiyya, maker of Allah, i.e. Satan, lies, or any doubt, Lord. Lord, help us honor you in all our ways. God, I pray to you and ask you to shine your holy light on all of us, including the Muslims who are deceived. But we know that there are Muslims who are mighty need, mighty need of you, Lord and are seeking for the truth. Please, Lord, open also their eyes so they can be saved as we are saved through the holy blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and loosen my tongue today. And please guide me so I can speak the truth, nothing but the truth, without any error or any shame, because we should not be ashamed about the truth, Lord. Lord, give me wisdom and courage to do Whatever needs to be done, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome everybody. Thank you for joining in. God bless you. God bless your families. Please don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. Click on the notification bell to receive notifications when we go live. Don't forget also to subscribe to our social media on Facebook. If you like to support our ministry on Facebook and if you want to support our full-time ministry on Patreon, you can become a patron on patreon.com slash robchristian. Welcome, let us start guys, let us start. On this live show, we will have the opportunity today again to show you the ignorance of these mushrikeen, these blasphemers like Farid who committed shirk yesterday when he uploaded his video publicly on YouTube. He's nothing but a blasphemer by calling his prophet Muhammad the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. You have no shame Mr. Farid and today you're going to get spanked, barbecued and served for everybody to see. And I hope that the Christians who are listening, Christians help me to help you. You need to spread this video on social media, on YouTube, download it. Help me to help you. I'm here to serve you guys. I'm here to serve the truth, so help me to help you do at least your jobs, guys. I'm not asking you to teach and expose these evil schemers, these liars and deceivers, but at least help your brother out. So this schemer, this deceiver, like his Allah, the best of deceivers, Khayrul Makareen, Allah himself, Satan, he just called his own prophet God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. On top of that, anything that we can find today will be used against the fake prophet of Islam in the court of law. So I hope that Allah is listening and he's going to protect his prophet, his wannabe prophet, and he's going to be his personal attorney present to, during today's hearing to defend his prophet in the court of law. And I hope that Farid said inshallah so that Allah will help him out. I'm not sure if, if I'm going to open up Skype, but we'll see. We'll see what is going to happen because I'm really tired, guys. I just woke up. I had a breakfast and I saw the video. So I was like, hey, it's time to barbecue someone. So let's see if I'm going to open my Skype. All right. Bear with me. We'll see what is going to happen. All right, guys. Thank you for joining in. God bless you guys. This is my topic of today. Showing that everybody that, that Farid from Farid response is nothing but a mushrik calling his own prophet a God, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Because if you're going to quote scripture from the Holy Bible, you're going to get barbecued. We can 
turn your own argument against you in the court of law. So guys, learn from today's live show, learn from our teaching, learn how to debate Muslims and how not to debate Muslims. You need to use their own arguments against themselves, right? When a Muslim brings an argument, turn it against him in the court of law. Turn it against his prophet in the court of law. All right, guys? So let us start. Since uh, Farid had the audacity to upload a video that he has no clue or any knowledge about, we can actually say that Islam is nothing but a business for Muslim scholars and apologists. It's a, it's a business for them, man. They are not doing this for the truth. They don't care about the truth. It's a huge business for them. And at the same time, they are showing us their ignorance and Allah's ignorance. But we know there's nothing called Allah. It's always Muhammad using Allah as a sock puppet for his sexual desires and lust for power, lust for women. Muhammad was nothing but a pedophile. He lusted after married Muslim women. He used to steal women from their husbands. And you call this a prophet of God? And you have the audacity, you have the audacity without any shame, without any dignity, without any honor. Calling God of the Holy Bible, Muhammad. Well, it's your funeral, ya mushrik. Guys, I caught a Muslim Sunni, a Sunni Muslim in the live chat earlier. He says, Farid was much wrong in his video yesterday when he uploaded. I mean, at least we have a Sunni Muslim who admits that Farid is a liar and a deceiver and he's wrong. Thank you for admitting it. At least we have a Sunni honest Muslim, man. Right? Vegabond, is that you? It's, that's you? Okay, so you change your name? Okay, well, it's okay. Or, or he's talking to you. Oh, he's talking to you. Sorry. Okay. He's talking to you. But we know that this guy is a Sunni Muslim. And he's at least admitting that Farid is wrong. So Farid is nothing but a mushrik according to a honest Sunni Muslim here in the live chat. Right? I hope that this Muslim is still with us. And he's going to witness the spanking of this mushrik Farid or Fifi or Farida. I, you know, I don't care what, you, what your name is. Let us show you the video. So I want to ask you to put on your headsets and listen carefully with me. I use a headset too. So let us see what uh, Farid said yesterday. So let me get the video guys. Let's see. Uh, okay, I think I got the right video. All right, all right. All right. So as you know, guys, as you know, uh, our dear brother in Christ, our dear friend David Wood, made a huge challenge. He challenged the entire Muslim Ummah, the entire Muslim nation, to provide verses from the Old Testament, from the Torah, right? From the Torah, because chapter 7, Ayah 157 is saying that Muhammad is mentioned in the Torah and the Injil. So provide a, a verse from the Holy Bible where it is mentioning Muhammad. Because Muhammad made poo-poo in his Quran. What else is new? Muhammad always does that. He made poo-poo and he said that he is mentioned in the Holy Bible. So let us see if that's true, right? So Muslims are bankrupt and they are trying their best to provide one verse, at least one verse, where Muhammad is mentioned by name. So let us see what David Wood said and what Farid is going to say in his video. Let us play the video, guys. Muslims don't realize that their apologists aren't giving real answers, but I'm going to show them with a little challenge. I'm so confident that Muslims can't answer a simple... Guys, did, we did have a hiccup, right? My stream just went offline. Okay, I'm back. Give me one if, I, if you can hear me again. Let, let us start over from the beginning. Sorry, guys, I can't do, help do anything about it. This is the internet, sorry. Refresh. Yeah, I was, I was offline for a second, yeah. 
What can we do? Maybe Satan doesn't like what the, that we are exposing his agent of Satan, Farid and Muhammad. So we are back. Okay, great, great. Welcome everybody. Welcome back. Sorry for that. It's out of my hands. So again, let us do this again. All right. Let's see. All right. Muslims don't realize that their apologists aren't giving real answers, but I'm going to show them with a little challenge. I'm so confident that Muslims can't answer a simple question that I hereby agree to delete my YouTube channel if they can prove me wrong. So David Wood is going to delete his YouTube channel if Muslims can prove him wrong. Wow, that's a huge challenge, Mr. David Wood. Yes, you heard me correctly. If any Muslim can prove me wrong by answering my simple question, I will delete my YouTube channel. <laughs> wow. My so ears. just watch this video by David Wood where he's challenging Muslims to prove that Rasulullah is in the Bible. Now the uh -huh. issue with this is that issue, David brother. Wood is very aware that this has already been done. It has been done guys, did you hear it? Ah, it has been done guys, it has been done. Let us see if this guy, if this coward, if this mushrik, yeah, Mushrik, yeah, Jaban, if he's going to answer. This coward, if he's going to answer the challenge of David Wood. Guys, let's see what he has to say, all right? So it has been done. Okay, it has been done. It's already been done. Been done, okay. And the reason that I can say with uh, full confidence that confidence? he's aware of this happening ah. is because... David Wood got destroyed, ah. absolutely trashed. Really? In a debate uh -huh. about that specific matter. Wow. Jews of Arlene, chapter 33. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, guys? Guys? Where is Farid? Where is Farid's answer? Are you telling me that this guy is playing a video? Are you telling me, uh, Farid? Farid, where's your answer for the challenge, man? Are you seriously playing a video? Guys, this guy is playing a video. Yeah, Farid, yeah, Jaban, you said you're going to destroy David Wood. And you said in, in the video title, guys, his video title is, Will David Wood delete his channel? So I expect from you, ya coward, ya Jaban, to refute David Wood. Not going to play a video for us. Anyway, guys, this, this guy has nothing. You fraud, you bankrupt liar, deceiver. Shame on you. You know, guys, this guy has no shame. But anyway, let us play the video. We are not afraid. We are here to spank you, ya Mushrik. We're going to show everybody that you are nothing but a blasphemer, calling your prophet a God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Watch. About that specific matter. No answer. Jews of Arlene, chapter Playing 33, video. speaks about somebody who will turn up in the land of Paran with 10,000 saints and a fiery law in his right hand. It reads as the following. The Lord came from Sinai and dawned on him from Sinai. He shone forth from Man Paran and he mm -hmm. came with 10,000 saints. From his uh -huh. right hand came a fiery law for them. Now, according to Genesis chapter 31, 33, guys. verse 21, Paran is where Hagar and Ishmael dwelt. Now, I have sources to show that Paran is the Hijaz in Arabia and Man Paran is in Makkah. So maybe David Wood can tell us who turned up in the land of Ishmael with 10,000 saints and a fiery law in his right hand. We know Prophet Muhammad, on whom the peace came to Makkah, with 10,000 companions and the law he had was the Quran. Hence, this So, guys. He's quoting Deuteronomy 33, right? Deuteronomy 33, verse 2 to be specific. Let me put it in the live chat for people maybe who missed it. And we are going to replay that part. Don't worry, guys. We are here to dissect everything. Deuteronomy 33, verse 2. According to this Abdul, I have no idea who he is. I don't care who this gentleman is because this is a debate that happened seven years ago, according to Fifi. Seven years ago. Deuteronomy 33, verse 2. And according to this Abdul, it's talking about Muhammad. Right? Let me replay that part just to be sure. Right? Let me go back a little bit. It reads as the following. 
The Lord came from Sinai and dawned on them from Sire. He shone forth from Mount Paran, and he came with 10,000 saints. From his right hand came a fiery law for them. So it's the Lord. Now, it's talking about the Lord. Verse 21. <laughs> it's Paran talking about Yehovah. Jehovah. Now I have sources to show that Paran is the Hijaz in Arabia and Mount Paran uh -huh. is in Mecca. Really? So Mount Paran is in Mecca. So guys, you heard it. This is any this is the this is the whole thing. This is the whole thing that Farid came up with, guys. Can you imagine? This there's nothing else. That's it. Let me give you the link if you don't believe me. Okay, let me give you the link to this video that Farid uploaded. He has nothing to say. He's only playing a video. That's it. That's it. Where's the answer, man? I can go through the whole video. In the land of Ishmael, with 10,000 saints and a fiery law in his right hand. Yeah, we this is Muhammad embarrassing. Muhammad. Exactly. He okay. came to Mecca with 10,000 The Lord came from Sinai, Lord, not Muhammad. <laughs> so you see how they are calling Muhammad God? confirms the Quranic statements about a prophet and scripture among the descendants of Ishmael. It says the Lord. It doesn't say and some prophet. Did you catch it? David Wood, he spanked him already. I, guys, David Wood, uh, you know. I do, I do, guys, to be honest with you, I don't have to do anything here. David Wood is clear. Look what David, Dudes, David Woods, our dear brother in Christ, his answer is. About a prophet and scripture among the descendants of Ishmael. It says the Lord. It doesn't say and some prophet. It's the Lord himself who came. Hadouken. <laughs> CP friend says Hadouken. Yeah, Gazab, yeah, Farida. You have no honor, man. You have no dignity. You have no shame. Aib, aib, yachi, aib. Shame on you, man. Shame on you, man. Farida, shame on you. Playing a seven-year-old video and at the same time spanking you. Spanking yourself and showing everybody that you're nothing but a mushrik. Calling your own prophet Muhammad, God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. The Lord, Jehovah. Yahweh, calling him Muhammad. You see the ignorance of these people, man? You see the deception? This is nothing but clear deception. And the Muslims, Allahu Akbar, Farida destroyed, Farid destroyed Mr. David Wood. Yesterday, guys, when I went to the live show, where brother Sam Shamoun and David, were, David Wood were doing the live show yesterday night, I was in my bed and I saw Tons of Muslims. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! They destroyed, Farid destroyed David Wood. Idiots. Idiots. You are nothing but deaf, blind, and mute sheep. Deaf, blind, and mute, leading the deaf, blind, and mute sheep. When Farid jumps from the mountain, all the Muslims will jump after him. They are nothing but sheep, man. Among the descendants of Ishmael. It says the Lord. It doesn't say, and some prophet. Exactly. This has nothing to do with any prophet. This is about the Lord. And here you have a passage that's talking about Yahweh, and, you're t and you say it's Muhammad. Is Muhammad Yahweh? Is that what you're telling me today? Because that's, if, if I want to believe this is about Muhammad, I have to believe Muhammad. Yeah, Farida. Yeah, Farida. Yeah, Nassab. Yeah, Kazab. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. David yeah. said it says the Lord, not a prophet. But David then must not know how the Jews interpret scripture. Does he not know that according to Genesis, it says God wrestled with Jacob. But according to Hosea chapter 12, it wasn't actually God. It was an Idiot. angel. The Jews know many times when it says the Lord, it could be a representative of the Lord. So once again, I want to ask him, who came in the land of Ishmael with 10,000 saints? God himself, you idiot. Right God himself, you blasphemer. So what you guys are expecting, David, to close his channel because you're going to bring something new to That's them. it. Khalas, this, this is something that's already Khalas, been done. Khalas, that's it. That's it. Uh, Farid, are you truly playing a video that is seven years old? And you think that's the refutation? Ya Jaban, ya coward, where is your own refutation, you liar? You're showing us that you're, you, you are a sheep and you are deceiving your own sheep who are your audience. This guy has around 12,000 subscribers, a small channel, right? But this guy is deceiving himself by playing a seven year old video of another deceiver who had audacity to debate David Wood and David Wood completely decimated him. 
You saw the evidence, right? And this guy is playing the video and you think that's it? Where is the refutation, man? Where is the refutation? You see, these people have no dignity, man. That's it. Done. It's this done. Now what, seven years ago or something? Yeah, need... That's it. Guys, Halas. that's it. Khalas, khalas. What are you expecting? What do you expect? expecting yeah. David to convert to Islam? To close no, the channel? No, because you're, you're, you're a content? sheep. You're a sheep. That's not how it works. You put these challenges out in order to attract more viewership. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In order to get your Yes, exactly. That's what you're videos. doing. That's you, Mr. Deceiver. That's works. That's it. Where do we find Muhammad mentioned in the Torah and the gospel that are with us? Exactly. Where is it? Where is Muhammad? Only thing what you're showing us is calling Muhammad God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Mr. Farid, you just became the joke on YouTube. The joke of YouTube when you uploaded yesterday's video. You are a joke, Farid. You are the joke. You are the joke. These people have no shame, man. You have no shame. Let me spank him. Let me show him an actual reputation. I'm not going to play some video. I'm not going to play some video like this idiot Jaban coward. This mushrik. Farida, you are a mushrik. Inta mushrik. You just called Muhammad God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob of the Old Testament. When you play that video. You're a sheep, you're deceiving your audience, you're nothing but a sheep, right? Guys, Deuteronomy 33.2, right? Deuteronomy 33.2. Guys, are you still with me, please? I want to know. Give me a one if you're still with me. No, Rory, you cannot call in. I'm in the middle of teaching, you cannot call in, all right? I'm about to spank them. I mean, David Wood did already an amazing job, but I am going to spank him with my own refutation. I'm not a coward like you, you Farida. Deuteronomy 33, 2, guys, it's in front of you. This is the Bible, right? This is the Torah. All right, let us spank this idiot. Let's, let us spank this mushrik, showing everybody that he's nothing but a mushrik, calling Muhammad the prophet of Islam, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is the passage, right? This is the verse. And he said, the Lord, who? The Lord himself, Jehovah, Yahweh himself, came from Sinai and rose up from Seir unto them. He shined forth from Mount Paran and he came with ten thousands of saints. So according to the to that Abdul seven years ago, you, you saw the video, right? We just played the video. According to him, these are Muslims. Guys, these are not, <laughs> these are not people. These are angels. The 10,000 of saints, and I, I believe uh, many uh, scholars, you know, I'm not a scholar of the Bible, to be honest with you. I'm not a scholar, but I don't need to be a scholar to, un to refute these liars and deceivers. These 10,000 of saints are the angels of the Lord. The angels of the Lord of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The angels of God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I'm going to prove it to you guys. And Farida claims that these are 10,000 Muslims. <laughs> so the Muslims, guys, are angels. Did you catch it? The, the angels became Muslims. Wow. So the Lord came from Mount from Sinai, from Mount Paran, and he came with 10,000 of saints, angels, from his right hand, went a fury law for them. All right, if we continue, we go now to prove, to make it even more clear, from 1 Kings chapter 22, 19. First Kings, the admins, please post the sources in the live chat, please, so that people can copy them, save them for later, so they can learn how to refute Muslims when they quote Deuteronomy 33, 2. So this is 1 Kings chapter 22, 19. Let, let me make it even more clear for you guys. Please pay attention, focus, all right? Forget, if there are Muslims in the live chat, forget about them. You need to focus with me. All right. Verse 19, and he said, Hear thou, therefore, the word of the Lord, 
I saw the Lord sitting on his throne and all the host of heaven, the angels standing by him on his right hand, on his left. So you see guys, these 10,000 saints are the angels who, who God himself brought with him. They are the angels, the inhabitants of heaven. Did you catch it? These are the angels, nobody else. And if we go to Zechariah chapter 14, 5, let me give you also this link. Save them, bookmark them, guys. Then you will escape through my mountain valley, for the valley of the mountains will extend to Azal. Indeed, you will flee as you fled from the earthquake in the days of King Uzziah of Judah. Then the Lord, now here comes the most important part. Then the Lord, my God, will come with all his holy ones with him. Did you catch it? The Lord himself will come with his holy ones. Who are the holy ones? The angels. <laughs> the Lord, Jehovah, plus the angels, his holy ones. Did you catch it? It's God, it's not a person, it's not Muhammad, it's not a human. And the angels are certainly not humans, they are not the 10,000 Abduls. You are son of Abdul, you deceiver. Shame on you. It doesn't say that RC. <laughs> you see how easy it is to spank these Abduls guys? Do you see how easy it is to spank them left and right? Exposing Farida, Fifi. Showing everybody that he's nothing but an ignorant, an ignoramus, right? Proving to everybody that he just called his prophet God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Because the Lord is God himself, you idiot. It's not Muhammad. Ya Mushrik, son of Mushrik. And your sheep, your audience are Mushrikeen with you because they agreed yesterday with you. They came to the live show of David Wood and said, Farida just exposed you, David Wood. Yeah, right. <laughs> Guys, try not to laugh. Try not to laugh at this comedy show. Farid, you have been spanked. You have been exposed. To make it even more worse, guys. Uh, guys, for the people who just joined, by the way, for the people who just joined. Before, you, before the live show started, I had a Muslim. This is a Sunni Muslim. He agreed with us. He said, Farid was much wrong, right? At least we have a Sunni Muslim, guys, right? I, this screenshot that you see here is from the live chat that you that you are in right now. He's at least ag agreeing that Farida is wrong. Farida is a mushrik. And Farida is Fifi Farid, right? The guy who we are spanking, this donkey here, this mushrik, son of a mushrik. Yeah. So at least we have an honest Muslim. Now guys, to even to prove it even more, to prove it even more that Paran, Paran, right, is not Mecca. It has nothing to do with Mecca, as this Abdul seven years ago was claiming that Paran, Mount Paran, is in Saudi Arabia. Nowadays, Saudi Arabia, right, Mecca. Guys, watch, watch, please focus, focus, and I need you guys to. Share today's live show when we are done. Share the video all around social media because we're going to make these Abduls who follow Farid's channel, they are going to be ashamed. And if you are truly a honest Muslim, you need to go to Farid, grab him by his beard, this lovely beard of his, drag him over the floor and say to him, you just exposed all of us, you exposed yourself, you became an apostate, repent or either we're going to kill you. Repent Farid or we're going to kill you because you just became an apostate, calling Muhammad God of the Holy Bible. So if you're an honest Muslim, go grab him by, this, by his beard, drag him over the floor and force him to repent because he just became an apostate and a mushrik. I hope I hope that your Allah is going to forgive you because we know shirk is the unforgivable sin in Islam, brother. I really hope that Allah will forgive you, Mr. Farid, for your shirk. Rory, thank you for the super chat. 
uh, our theory Deuteronomy 31 9 because it destroy the Muslim because they claim Muhammad could couldn't read and write. Uh, that has nothing to do with my topic. Thank you for the super chat, my friend. But I have a very, very, very specific topic here. I don't want to step out of my topic, guys. Please. So here is a map, right? This is Sinai. Do you see? This is Egypt. Sinai, which is part of today's Egypt. This is the area. This is North, let's say North Africa, North Arabia. Saudi Arabia is down south. Mecca is all, you know, here, down south. Much down south. This is Northern Arabia, right? This part is still called Arabia. Jordan here, the south of Jordan is Arabia. We call it Arabia. It's Arabia, but north of Arabia, right? This is south. Here is Mecca all the way down here. Medina all the way down there. So Sinai, guys, Sinai is here. And here in this part, this part that you see, the, you know, you see, guys, are you seeing my cursor? Do you see my cursor, guys? Give me one if you see it, guys. This part here, this is Mount Paran, this, this area here. I hope I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. All right, guys? I'm a human. I can make mistakes. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's see if, if Rob Christian is wrong. This is Sinai, right? This is Mount Paran here in this area. Watch. This is a Google map, same, basically the same, right? You know, same area. This is Mount Sinai. Oh, sorry, this is Sinai. This is Sinai. And here, around this place. Guys, don't call me, all right? Don't call me. There's no need to call me. I'm not going to pick up. Here, this area here, right? Do you see it? This part here, here. Wow, Rob Christian is correct. I didn't make this, by the way, guys. I didn't make this, okay? So you see here, this area. This is Paran, the wilderness of Paran. Here is Sinai. And Mecca and Medina are way down there. <laughs> way down there, right? Numbers 10, 12. And the children of Israel took their journeys out of the wilderness of Sinai. This is Sinai here. And the cloud rested. God himself rested in the wilderness of Paran, here. This is the wilderness of Paran. Did you catch it? Abdul, you are nothing but a liar and deceiver. The Abdul that you heard in the video seven years ago, right? He lied. What Paran? Paran is here, man. Mecca is all the way down there. Miles and miles, thousands of miles away. Right? Yes, the map is Sahih, brother. The map is Sahih. Right? You see, Jordan is here. Israel, this is Israel. Today's Israel here. And this is Paran, this area here. Do you see it? Paran. The wilderness of Paran. Here, Paran. Paran. Let me, maybe I need to make it bigger. Do you see it, guys? Paran, here. This area here. If you don't believe me, do your own research. You see how these Abduls are nothing but liars and deceivers? So actually... By this video, we just expose this Farida. Farida, you are nothing but a liar and deceiver. You are sharing the same ignorance of your fake prophet, showing everybody that you are nothing but a mushrik. Mushrik, son of a mushrik. Uh, Islam critique, I will open the line just in a matter of seconds, all right? Just, just bear with me, brother. Bear with me. I'm going to do it, but not, not yet. Please, I love you to call me, Islam critique. I, I love you, bro. Just wait for a couple of moments, all right? So Farid, 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 if you are listening, I know my video will reach you. I know, Farida, Fifi, I know my video will reach you. I know. And you Christians need to do your homework, guys. Please share our video. You need to do it. And expose this liar and deceiver, this mushrik. Farid just called his prophet Muhammad, and prophet written with an I. You know why, guys? He just called his prophet God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You just became a mushrik and an apostate in 2020. So Farid, are you going to repent publicly, Farid? Are you going to do it? Because you had the audacity to upload a video without any clue, without any knowledge, playing a video without any clue, without any knowledge, a seven-year-old video, and think that's the refutation of Mr. David Wood. 
Are you going to repent publicly? I'm sure you're going to do that. Or are you going to stay a mushrik and an apostate? This is ultimate shirk. Exactly, brother Peter M. I'm going to play another video for you guys. Very short video. And I'm going to go from there and we're going to open the Skype for calls. All right, guys? So put on your headsets again. Play the video. Go from there. I'm going to play a video from the Merciful Servant. Merciful Servant, the number one YouTube Muslim channel on YouTube. The biggest channel actually. Doing the same shirk like Mr. Farida. The Mushrik Farida. They're nothing but Mushrikeen, man. Calling Muhammad God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Watch. I say it states that this special person will be a warrior and will go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. Throughout history, God has dealt sternly with those who are sent guidance and persist in disbelief. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had to engage in many battles with the idol-worshipping enemies of God and ultimately prevailed against them. So you see, guys, he, <laughs> even the number one Muslim YouTube channel, the Merciful Servant, are nothing but Mushrikeen. There's a huge team behind that YouTube channel. They are all Mushrikeen when they uploaded this video. They, all be, they are nothing but blasphemers, man. Did you see what they do? Let me go back a little bit. Look, they removed the name of God, Jehovah, the Lord himself, and they put an ellipsis, three dots, ellipsis. They removed God himself uh, to show everybody that that's Muhammad. So they are deceiving their Muslim audience, removing the name of our Holy Lord and Savior, our Holy God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. From there, putting three dots, ellipsis, to make it sound like it's about Muhammad. These people have no shame, man. No shame, no dignity, no nothing. Because if you're going to use this desperate, this bankrupt way of deceiving your audience, then there's, you know, it's, you're finished. Like Muhammad Hijab said, you're finished, you're finished, you're finished, you boy, you're finished. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Let me spank these liars and deceivers. You see, this is the same verse, Isaiah 42, 13. They removed the name of God himself, the Lord, Jehovah, Yahweh himself, playing with our scripture. So who is corrupting the scripture, guys? The Muslims. You are corrupting our Holy Bible when you play with our Holy Bible with your own hands. Removing the Lord, Jehovah, from the scripture and placing three dots and ellipses. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. Do you see it? Idiots, liars and deceivers. So Farida, you're nothing but a mushrik like merciful servant. And we today you got spanked, you got barbecued and served for everybody to see. To make it even more worse for Farida and his prophet, you know, we know that Muslims love to worship Muhammad. The Sahaba, the companions of Muhammad, love to worship him. They used to put his saliva on, on their faces. They even drink his pee. Muhammad peed in a bowl and they drink it. When Muhammad got wounded, one of the Sahaba even sucked the blood and he drank the blood of Muhammad. I kid you not. But if we go to the Quran, chapter 48, guys, chapter 48, ayah 9, read with me. Let me read the Arabic first. لِتُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَتُعَزِّرُوهُ وَتُوَقِّرُوهُ وَتُسَبِّحُوهُ بُكْرَةً وَاصِيلًا Translation. That you might believe in Allah, that you may believe in Allah and His Apostle, and may aid Him and revere Him, and that you may declare His glory every morning and evening. Now guys, when I went to school as an Arabic, native Arabic speaker, when I was a kid, I went to school, they taught me in a sentence like this, in an Arabic sentence, like, guys, pay attention, please. Forget about the Muslims in the live chat. In an Arabic sentence like this, the last mentioned person, all the words that come after that you see highlighted here, go back to the last person and the last person alone. Even in, I think even in the English language, any language, the last person, 
all the verbs and all the words that come after go back to the last person. Who is the last person? Muslims say that's Muhammad, his apostle, his messenger, Rasuli, right? What Rasuli? So you have to aid Muhammad, assist him in battle. Guys, pay attention. You have to aid and help Muhammad in battle, assist him in battle. So the first verb already explains it, right? You have to help Muhammad in battle. Allah doesn't need help, right? Allah is not a human. He does not need the help of the Muslims, of the Abduls. You have to respect and honor Muhammad and you have to glorify Muhammad every morning and evening. You see it? Every Muslim is commanded to glorify Muhammad. It's an act of worship every morning and evening. Congratulations, Muhammad. Here, Muhammad exposed himself. Here, he declared that every Muslim must glorify him. You know, when you create a cult like Muhammad, when you create a cult, there are going to be a day that you're going to love to be worshipped. And Muhammad here showing his fruits, right? By their fruits, you will know them. Showing his fruit that he loved to be worshipped by his companions. Let me give you the link, guys. All right, let me give you the link. You see how, how we are spanking them left and right? Guys, I'm going to accept, I'm going to accept uh, calls now, but let me grab some water. I'm out of water. So small coffee break, guys, and we'll come back and we'll continue and we will take calls. I hope uh, our dear brother Islam Critique will be here too, so I can ex uh, accept his call. Be right back. Buenos días. Buenos días. Disfrute un buen café. Gracias, señor. Adios. Adios. Ah, now that's fresh mountain grown coffee from the hills of Colombia. The rise of apostasy. People are leaving Islam at unprecedented rates. The narrative of Islam being the fastest growing religion is no longer true. The Muslim community is now in damage control from this new threat. Dr. Bilal Phillips in a recent Friday sermon openly has warned the Muslim community that apostasy will come like a tsunami. And if we don't take constructive steps to deal with this, it is going to become an avalanche, a tsunami that is going to hit our community in such a way that we will have a very difficult time standing. It will knock us over. Right. I better manifest some coffee. Hola, Juan Valdez. All right, all right, we're back. I'll be back. We're back, guys. <clears throat> I hope you got yourself something to drink too, guys. It might be early for some people, yes. I just woke up myself too. So, guys, <clears throat> let us open Skype. Let us open Skype. And see if we can take some calls just a second guys <clears throat> all right all right all right okay my skype is open uh let's see i saw that our brother Islam Critique, I missed a call from you. Can you call me back, my friend? Is that okay, brother? Can you call me back? If Islam Critique is still with us. All right, all right. Islam Critique. Let me put on my headset. Hello, hello. Welcome, brother. Hey, Rob. How are you? Hey, I'm good. How, what, how about you, my friend? How are you? Like you said, it's a little early, but uh, doing <laughs> <Yeah>. all right. <laughs> 
Yeah, I was thinking about making a video on Fareed as well. Ah, and just okay, kind it. of making it an honest plea to Muslims to yeah, stop You should, bro. You have, to do, you have to do it because, you know, maybe your op Christian is lying. Maybe your op Christian, you know, <laughs> is a deceiver. Maybe, you know, yeah. who knows? You, I, every, I, I hope that every warrior in Christ, all the Christian apologists have to do this because, you know, a lot of Muslims are getting deceived, my friend. We need to spank these liars and deceivers. Go ahead, bro. Well, uh, speaking of lying, yeah, I was I was fact checking you about Paran, and yeah. according to the Hebrew and Aramaic lexicon of the Old Testament, it's between Midian and Egypt to be identified with the Sinai Peninsula. So it yeah. seems like you're correct. Whoa, I'm correct? No. Yeah. No but, way. But, really? But I still I still wasn't sure. So I checked <laughs> the Dictionary of Classical Hebrew. Yeah. Which says it's the wilderness area west of Edom and north of Sinai, home of Ishmael. So you're right again. Well, bro, do you see the screen? Do you see the screen? Just to make sure. <laughs> to, uh, oh, wow. But, but, you know, I still wasn't sure. So, <laughs> so I checked the dictionary of biblical languages with wow. semantic domains, which I'm sure everybody reads before they go to bed at night. <laughs> and it says it's the desert area in Sinai Peninsula. Ah. So you have you have three scholarly sources that agree with you on the location of Paran, and I could wow. cite a whole bunch more. Man, it's a blessing to have you here, brother. Thank but, you. But you know, the the bigger picture is what's going on in Deuteronomy 33 is part of what scholars call. You'll see it various ways: mm -hmm. Yahweh from the south or Yahweh's march from the south, something like that. Yeah. And it recalls you know, God coming to the, the salvation of His people. We think about, you know, receiving the law at Sinai and so forth. Yeah. But there are even more problems for Muslims because this is not just Deuteronomy 33. Yeah, this Sinai. march from the south tradition occurs in several other places. So here's yep. Habakkuk 3. All Habakkuk right. 3, 3 says, God came from Taman and the Holy One from Mount Paran. There's Mount Paran again. Wow. And then similar language to Deuteronomy 33, his splendor covered the heavens, the earth was full of his uh, praise, his brightness was like the light, rays flashed from before his hand, and so forth. Yeah, bro, so here, uh, before, so, before you continue, I have a question, right? Yeah. I, I want you also to confirm who the 10,000 of saints are, because this is from the King James Version. Mm -hmm. are, they the, are they the angels? Is Rob Christian lying? Are they the you angels know, or not? Once again, I, I was doubting you, so I wanted to go back to, um, <laughs> <laughs> I went back to uh, about 200 BC, and mm -hmm. I looked at the Septuagint, and they actually translate Angelos, it's angels. Wow, again, Rob so, Christian. So again, Whoa. yeah. Oh man, what a shock. <laughs> so here we have, in Habakkuk 3, you have Taman mm -hmm. mentioned with Paran, and Taman is northwest Edom which sounds a lot like the location of Paran that you gave and the ones that I cited from scholarly lexicons. Mm -hmm. So once again, and, and then we have this Yahweh from the South tradition um, occurring as well in uh, Judges 5, 4 through 5. Lord, when you went out from Seir, you marched from the region of Edom, and the earth trembled and the heavens dropped and so forth. So when you factor in the geography of both Deuteronomy 33, Habakkuk mm -hmm. 3, and Judges 5, you cannot get to Arabia from there. Yeah. And then the whole argument about, well, let's just take Yahweh out of the text and yeah. pretend like, like that's a representative, which is what that debater in Fareed's video did without any justification whatsoever. Mm -hmm. When we get to Habakkuk 3, we yeah. actually have an old poetic form of God, Eloah. Yeah. So, so now you're telling me that, that you not only take Yahweh to mean Muhammad, but you take Eloah, an old poetic form for God, to mean Muhammad as well. Yeah. So when you put all these passages together, it's this whole thing's a joke. Really, <laughs> it is to scholars. Yeah. And I was actually talking to a um, a, a scholar who teaches uh, Hebrew exegesis at a, a seminary, and I I mentioned some of this stuff to him, and his response was just to laugh. And I, oh, I mean, that, that's what this is. Yeah. This stuff yeah. is a joke. Yeah. And so when, and, and this is to Muslims, when you quote Fareed, when you endorse his videos, yeah. you look as dumb as he is. And that's just being honest and clear about it. Yeah.
You know, he and, and, and you stupid. saw the video from the beginning, right, my friend? He he didn't even try to refute. He only played a seven old year right. video. Where's the right. refutation? Well, and Muslims think, yesterday, maybe if you if you were on the live show of David Wood, they were they were saying Farid has just destroyed you, Allah Akbar. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That they need to oh, to stop doing oh, that. Man, but I man. think the refutation is in for Muslims. Honestly, I think the refutation is in the way Farid twirls around in his chair confidently. Yeah. I honestly think that's the refutation. He he's so confident that yeah. this has been refuted. Oh, it must be true. Yeah. But when you actually and when you watch that video, I think when they cite Deuteronomy 33, they actually put Quran in parentheses question mark. Yeah. As if what God is bringing with him yeah. is the Quran. It's just stupid referring to Deuteronomy 33:4. So once again, I mean, how So we can it? just to to in a nutshell, <laughs> Quran is in let's say as the the screen said in in this area, the south of today's Israel, so it's Northern Arabia. That's point number one. Point number two, the 10,000 are the angels. The 10,000 mm -hmm. saints are the angels. These are not Abduls. <laughs> These are not the <laughs> companions of Muhammad. And Muhammad is certainly not God. When you're going to say he's God, that means you're committing shirk. You're nothing but a blasphemer like Farida. Yesterday, right? Yeah, that, that, that's and, right. And what's and, your what's your point of view about the merciful servant who said, uh, Isaiah forty two thirteen is Muhammad removing the Lord? What's your point of view about that, uh, brother Colin? Well, I'm I'm actually going to do a video on that because. You know, here, here's the thing: when 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 Satan tempts Jesus, yeah. he quotes from Psalm ninety one right yeah. up until the point where he says he's going to get his butt kicked and then he stops. Yeah. That's how Muslims quote the Bible. They just, they quote what they want and when they encounter a, pro a problematic passage mm. for their thesis, they just leave it out. So Colin, who, so, is, who, is, who is corrupting the Bible? The Christians and the Jews or the Muslims? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's the Muslims. And I think exactly. when they Thank say you. the Bible is corrupted, what that basically means is that it's a clean slate and they can write into it whatever mm. it, they want. And somehow that is supposed to carry convincing authority, which apparently it does for many Muslims, unfortunately. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to add to that. And actually, after you post this video, I'll post those um, lexicons in the Please comment do. section. Please do. If you want. And uh, it's, yeah. you know, some of it's Hebrew, so it might not post very well, but it'll be there for, for what it's worth. So, Bro, I enjoy your videos. I always support and watch your videos. You are a very dear brother of mine. God bless you. God bless your loved ones and family, your wife. Your child, I, I've, your children, if you have more than one, God bless you and keep doing what you're doing. Don't let anyone, anyone hold you back. Your videos are amazing, right? Your Thanks, videos are, Rob, and, and you do a, a great job and uh, look forward to hearing more of your stuff. Thank you, my friend. God bless your ministry and looking forward to talk to you uh, in a future live show again. God bless you. Right. Talk to you soon. Thank you for calling. God bless. Bye. Bye. Wow. What a blessing to have this dear brother calling us on our live show to confirm, to confirm we have two Christians who can refute and spank this liar, Farida, Fifi, Farid. You need to repent since you made that video publicly on YouTube. You need to repent. Is this guy going to repent for his shirt? Let us pick this call, guys. Another Christian wants to call. Okay. Hello, you're live on air. Hello? My friend, can you hear me? You're live on air. I can't hear you. Hello? Brother? Hello? Please mute YouTube, please. Mute YouTube. Can you hear me now? Y yeah, I can hear you now. Welcome. You're live on air, brother. Great. Uh, I'm uh, happy that uh, Brother Colin went live. I hope he still listen because he has more followers and uh, um, since he's related to the topic, I want to give him an idea. <coughs> uh, I don't know how many uh, of people know about Adam and Eve Apocrypha, for example. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, my friend. There are two or three versions of it. it um, all, all three of them precede Muhammad. And, um, you know, I was thinking how he started 
uh, his mission. And in those uh, versions of book, um, Adam tried to commit suicide, and guess what? An angel saves saves him. Mm-hmm. And then the there is the citation from the you know the devil um, argument um, with Allah in heaven. It's from that book as well. So he's starting as Adam and then continues like a warlord as Moses. And I thought they sing Quran because of David Psalms, yeah. And then he tried to like bring wisdom like Solomon. I think he is uh, trying to portray himself as all of them and arrive to Jesus, which is the reason uh, they are forced to believe uh, he is God. Yeah. And uh, since we are here, I wanted to quote you a very small hadith, yeah. but applications are huge. It's very short, it's only two lines. The, um, it's Sahih al-Bukhari, Book of Knowledge, narrated by Ali. The Prophet said, do not tell a lie against for me. Whoever tells a lie against me, uh, then he will surely enter hellfire. Yeah, just a second. Guys, did you just catch what this brother said? This is very important. According to Muhammad in a Sahih Bukhari hadith, any Muslim, anyone who lies about Muhammad, Muhammad said, let him take his seat in hellfire. So Farid, Farid, since you lied about Muhammad, claiming that Muhammad is God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, and we've refuted you, spanked you and served you for everybody to see, you're going to hand to end in hellfire, you're going to take your seat in hellfire according to your own prophet, calling Muhammad God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. So Farid, you're going to end in hellfire. Continue my friend. So you see, uh, the, 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 <clears throat> although it's only two lines, um, mm. I think it's very huge of the implications because Muhammad cannot tell if you lie to him, but you still end up in hell, which it's, um, it's like uh, he's trying to portray himself like he's got the Holy Spirit and if you lie to him it's like lying to God. Yeah. You see how I see it? Yeah. So the implication, exactly. although it's only two lines, it's um, because the next hadith in the list, um, I looked, um, you know, search, uh, tip lie, it comes, you know, that you can lie in three cases. So I thought, why can you lie with anybody else but not with him? Is it because you can't or he wouldn't know anyway, but you still uh, end up in hellfire? Mm. So I um, I think it's very huge, like I said, the implication, although it's only two lines, um, mm. one sentence, but in two lines. So um, I hope uh, brother Colin, because he has many followers, would pick up on it and maybe make a series like, um, you know, Muhammad portray as Adam and as Moses and then yeah, that's why it, wow, they wow. always say Prophet Adam, Prophet yeah. Musa, Prophet Dawood, uh, exactly, Sultan, exactly. and uh, Prophet Jesus because these are the only characters that yeah. Muhammad portrayed himself like to be. Yeah. And um, I think it's a lot to it, but, um, you know, I'm... Um, I'm glad I caught you live. I've been busy for a few days. I saw yesterday, but I was at work, so I couldn't call in. Yeah. It was a good topic, but I missed the chance. So uh, it's okay, for my friend. Really, it's always a blessing, you know, for Christians to call us. Uh, maybe add things that we didn't mention to upon what we didn't say. Uh, you know, we we Christians, the family, we are completing one another, right? And we are doing this for the truth and expose fake prophet, false prophet, false teachers and liars and deceivers. My friend, thank you for calling. It's and a blessing to have you here. Stop me one yeah. minute. Yeah. Even the 48 um, chapter of the Quran, uh, Ayah 9 that you quote, if yeah. you read uh, just the beginning of 10, you see yeah. you have to play allegiance to Muhammad, not to God. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. It's no way around it. Yeah, it's, my friend, what it, you know, it is what it is, you know, Muslims are bankrupt. They have to, you know, they are there. They know they are bankrupt. They have to do all kind of guessing because Muhammad failed miserably to tell his Abduls where they can find him in the Holy Bible. Right. Yeah. 
And yeah. the reason they don't come to Jesus, you, you, as you know, I like the Bible, is because um, I think it, it's John, uh, Gospel of John, yeah. the, light, the light came into the world, but they love darkness because their deeds are evil. That's why they don't come, because they are evil. Yeah, exactly. And uh, the hadith that you mentioned, my friend, let me read it before you go. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Let me scroll down for the reference. Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 108. Speaking from Kif, Hira, it's Sahih, Sahih al-Bukhari, Bukhari. Okay. The fact which stops me from narrating a great number of hadith to you is that the Prophet said, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah is praying on him. Whoever tells a lie against me in Intentionally, then surely let him occupy his seat in hellfire. Farid, according to your prophet, because you lied about him, calling him the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you're going to take your seat in hellfire. Farid? Well, yes. not only that, everyone who calls him prophet because he said he's a plain warner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, That's it's why awesome. I, you see how deep it goes. It, it, although it's just a sentence, mm -hmm. it's the implications are huge if you take a good look at, mm. you know. So um, uh, I'm pleased to that I heard. Um, I, I'm pleased that um, I got the time to call you. And yeah, me too, my friend. Welcome. Thank you. We take it. a look in. Thank you for calling. And God bless you. God bless you too. God keep bless you. keep doing it. Yeah. By the way, drop a comment in the live ch uh, chat, guys. Uh, if you can do that so that it can also support you. Support our brother Colin too, guys. Make sure to subscribe to all the warriors. All right, my friend? Thank He's you for doing calling. a great job. <laughs> thank oh, you, thank you. God bless thank you. you. God bless you too. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, what a blessing to have our friends here, guys, calling us. Uh, let me see if we can take another call. Uh, we have another Christian who wants to call. Hello? Oh, what happened? <clears throat> Varun, are you there, Varun? Hello? Hello. Yeah, hello. Welcome. You're live on air. Hello. Go ahead. Hi, Rob. Christian, brother. How are you? I am good. Hello. You're a Christian, my friend? Yeah, I am Christian. Okay, okay welcome. Go, uh, you're live on air. What do you want to share with us, my friend? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have you friend? Why one? Of, I have one of my friend. Uh, he's a he's a Muslim. He asked me many things. I what did Jesus say? I'm God. Then I showed the reference. It's not easy for them to accept it. I have few questions. Like why? Uh, what it's actually? Yeah, my friend, just a second, just a second. Um, I don't want to interrupt you, my friend. But we have a very, very specific topic today. Uh, do yeah. you want to add to the this very specific topic? Um, you know, I understand that Muslims are. You know. Today we're showing everybody that Muslims are deceivers, especially the Muslim apology. They are nothing but deceivers, liars. But can you please stay on topic? Because today is a very, very specific topic. So if you want to uh, add to something to what we said or what we spoken about oh. or mentioned, go ahead, my friend. But if you, if, it's, uh, if it's outside the topic, then please, I, you know, uh, I have yeah. a short time period, okay? Uh, sure yeah, I'm very sorry. Actually, my I want to convince my friend. I, that's why. Uh, according, I, I want to ask. Uh, apart from this topic, actually, sorry. Anyway, sorry. Anyway, thanks. Anyway. Okay, my friend. Thank you. Okay, I'll call another time. Okay, no problem. Thank you for calling. Bye bye. Do you have more callers, guys? Are there more callers? Uh, a guy. I see a lot of. Just say. I see a lot of. I see a lot of. Uh, people who are calling me when I'm offline. Uh, guys, please don't call me when I'm offline. There's no need because I have a life, guys. <laughs> you know, I, I can't always, you know, take calls and whatnot. So please, guys, all right? Please, if you, you know, respect my privacy, res respect my... <laughs> if you want to call me, call me when I'm live, okay? But you have to do it when we are done teaching. You know, you know the basic rules by now. Uh, guys, thank you so much for uh, calling. Is there anyone else who wants to call and stay on topic? Anyone? Uh, yeah, Bruno, I, I know, I know. I, I know, okay? I know. Don't worry. Oh. Hello, Alexander. You're live on air. Welcome. 
Hi, brother. How are you? I'm 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 fine. How, how about you? Welcome. You're live on air. No, I have a question, brother. Do you yeah, have okay. a hadith for you? Yeah. Uh, of the for the for the God of the Muslims, uh, Muhammad. Yeah. Yeah, the God of, of uh, Islam, exactly. Because Muslims yes. always love to tell us that Muhammad is God of the Holy Bible, right? So he's he is God. In Islam, yes. they are showing us that Muhammad is God, the true God, right? Right? Yes, of course. And this uh, this case admits Muhammad hijab. Uh, <laughs> you remember this uh, yeah. this debate with uh, David Wood when he says uh, he mm -hmm. prays two, not four, and yeah. uh, after he no, comes no, back from Anna, four. It's, it's an uh, he prays to, four, not yeah, two. Exactly. And we then we don't want to misquote, right? We we yes, are not yes, here yes, to misquote. Yes. Just to be, you know, to be honest. Yeah. And then, then he comes back from Africa and say, no, no, uh, he say, uh, praise <laughs> to praise. Muhammad. Yeah, exactly. Praise. Uh, I, have a, I have a hadith, I have a hadith here uh, from Sunan Abi Dawood. Uh, I just uh, read for you. A man came and praised Uthman just, in just, his face. Just a second, my friend, just a second. You said very important thing. I will allow you to continue, my friend. Just, just one, you know, guys, he just said very important thing. Muhammad Hijab in the debate, guys, are you still with me? Please pay attention, focus with me. Muhammad Hijab in the in the debate with David Wood, that very famous debate, he said, this is why the translators put four, not to the Prophet, right? I and he said, I needed I, I had to teach you Arabic lessons. But he was not he was not listening carefully to what David Wood said, right? David Wood said, Allah prays for, not two, right? Allah prays for. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I don't blame David Wood. Uh, David Wood is not an Arab, right? He's not an Arab. The Arabic says clearly, Allah, in Allah, in Allah wa malaikatu, yusalluna ala. They, the angels and Allah pray on Muhammad. So it's not for, it's not two, it's on. But when, you know, when he started to feel the heat, Muhammad Hijab, he went to Ghana. Right, he went to Ghana and he came back and he said, No, no, I meant to say I was wrong. I said, I was wrong, I made a mistake. I meant to say, Allah praises the Prophet. But wait a second, chapter 1, ayah 2 of the Quran, Surah Al Fatiha, chapter 1, ayah 2. All, all praise belongs to Allah. So, how <laughs> is Allah sharing his praise with Muhammad? Isn't that shirk? Muhammad hijab, instead of fixing. In, instead of doing damage control, you're actually making it in even more worse. You're showing everybody that Allah became the servant, he became the slave of Muhammad. Allah sharing, yes. Allah is praising Muhammad. <laughs> it seems that Allah and Muhammad are equal. Again, Muslims love to show us, prove to us that Muhammad is God of Islam and is God of the Holy Bible. Ya Mushrikeen. Ya <laughs> Mushrikeen, you, you, you are the ones who are <coughs> Mushrikeen, not us. You are the Mushrikeen. Oh, okay, continue my friend. Yes, that's a, a hadith from Sunan Abi Dawood, Book of General Behavior. Mm. And uh, it says, uh, Hamam said, a man came and praised Uthman in his face. Mm -hmm. al Mikdat al-Assad took dust and, throw, and threw it on his face, saying, Mm -hmm. The Apostle of Allah said, when you see those who are given to praising people, throw dust in their faces. Wow, did you hear it? Can you repeat that part, my friend? Read that part again. Guys, pay attention. When you see those who are given to praising people, yes. throw dust in their faces. Wow. It's a Sahih, it's a sahih Hadith. So should we throw dust in the face of Farida? And um, Mimi Hijab, yes, we should, right? <laughs> so these people, I, I when they are so. saying, so. right, when they are, when they want to show us that uh, Muhammad is uh, God, right? That's what they want to prove to us. Muhammad is God. That means we need to throw dust in their faces. But should we not also throw dust dust in the face of Muhammad? Why, Rob Christian? Well, Muhammad called himself the praised one because. The meaning of the name Muhammad, it's not even a name, it's a title. It means the praised one. Muhammad means the praised one. So Muhammad himself needs dust to be thrown in his face. He made himself equal to Allah, the actual praised one. Yes.
Disaster, man. Disaster, man. That's, that's a disaster. Shirk, shirk. Muhammad is a mushrik. His followers are mushrikun. The Sahaba are mushrikun, mushrikeen. All of them commit shirk, including the Prophet of Islam. All right. Thank you, man. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yes. Thank they, you. They, they Thank try you for to, this. They try, Thank you. No. They try to save uh, to save Islam, but they they make even worse and worse, and yeah. they they dig the hole deeper and deeper and deeper. It's yes, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, brother. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you for calling. Thank you for adding to what we said today. God bless you. Keep calling. God us bless you, brother, and Thank the you. audience. Amen. Thank bye you. bye, brother. Thank you. God bless you. Bye bye. Amazing calls, guys. Today, amazing calls. Amazing calls. Jacob, Matthew, thank you for the super chat. God bless you, my friend. Thank you for the donation. Wow. Wow. You see? Shirk everywhere. Shirk everywhere. Mute YouTube, please. Mute YouTube. Hello? Mute YouTube, please. Hello? Yeah. Um, yeah. I was going to share a verse with you in... Deuteronomy 31 9 because they say Muhammad is like Moses and it says Moses wrote the Torah. Yeah. That's why I want to get at. Yeah. But my friend, my friend Rory, that's out of my topic. My topic today is Muslims claim that Muhammad is God, right? That's what they're uh, claiming. Do you have, can you add something on top of that? Oh man, I wish it was uh, the topic yeah. of this. yeah. The topic topic last time was you know uh, they they want to say show us that Muhammad was uh, a prophet like Moses. We refuted that. We spanked Zekir Naik. We refuted Zekir Naik. We barbecued him. That, did he, did can you, you add something to on top of what we said today on this very specific? Topic? No, I can't. Okay. I can't. Okay, I have okay. To, okay. then I have to please do. call I'm, me another time. All right, my friend. Oh uh, yeah. Um, did you Thank quote you. Deuteronomy thirty-one? nine though uh, my friend that's that is out of my topic please guys please if you if you want to call me stay on topic we today is very very specific topic claiming this mushrikeen these these blasphemers claiming that muhammad is god of abraham isaac and jacob if you want to call us guys and you want to add something to what we are talking about refuting them please do so but if it's out of topic, guys, I have a very small, short window, all right? I'm tired. I didn't want to go online today. I didn't want to do a live show. So if you want to call me and add on top what we said today that is on topic, go ahead, please. All right? Sorry, guys, but, you know, let's see uh, if we can take this call. Wow, so many calls today, man. What a blessing. Hello? 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 Hello, Rob. Are you going to run again? Yeah, Ooh. it's the ultimate idiot. Okay. Well, you know, this guy has even more names than Allah himself, man. Now, I don't, I don't want to waste my time with you. You are not even a Muslim, man. I want real Muslims, man. I don't want Rashad Khalifa, boys. Ultimate idiot, yeah. Hello? Oh, are you good? God bless you. Hello, welcome. You're live on air. God bless you too. Please mute YouTube. Mute YouTube. Mm, one moment. Let me close it. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to close it, but that, mute it so that I don't hear myself two times. All right? Okay. All right. Go ahead, my friend. You're live on air. Okay. So, <clears throat> so yes. Um, Are you familiar with the hadith about everything was made from Muhammad? Yes, go ahead. Okay, so I called, I, I looked, I, I went to an Islamic teacher and I asked him about this hadith and he said it was false, whatever. <laughs> what else is new, yeah. It, yeah. Was, I'm, it, it, it was in Ibn Taymiyyah's book and I'm yeah. asking him who is the name of the one who heard this from the mouth of the prophet. Yeah. And do you know, it took 30 minutes and after 30 minutes he refused to give me the name of the one who heard <laughs> Hadith is was, daif, brother. Was unreal. <laughs> yeah. He Brutal. refused to give yeah. me the name. And he told me, I'm not giving you the name and go and tell everyone behind you that I didn't give you the name that you want to be crazy. <laughs> yeah. 
What else is new? Yeah. I'm sorry, you know, what? Yeah, because if everything is created for Muhammad, that means Muhammad, you know, he's special, man. Muhammad is special, brother. Right? Come to yeah. find out it was Abu Huraira. No, Abu Huraira, the liar, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. I mean, it was just unreal. <laughs> you know, uh, almost half of all the hadith that we, you know, even is, go to Sayyid Bukhari, Abu Huraira is very uh, trustful, man. You know, so when they're going to call Abu Huraira a liar now, uh, are you saying, are you saying that Sahil Bukhari must be rejected? <laughs> what a joke. Yeah, you see, uh, bankrupt, man. Bankruptcy, man. What can we do, I'm, man? I'm, I'm just, I'm, it's like I was in a movie or something. I'm telling you, him, you like. You were shocked, I, right? You were shocked. I'm just, I, I couldn't, I'm still shocked right now. I'm like, is he serious? <laughs> Why won't you give me the name? And oh. then. If he had the honesty, he could at least lead me to someone. I said, okay, can you lead me to someone who heard it from the mouth of the prophet? And then he yeah. said, no, I'm not leading you to anyone. I said, you know what? You're a demon. Goodbye. <laughs> well, that's Islam 101, man. Deception, lies. That's, that's the only thing they can do these days. And today's live show is proof of that, right? It's proof. I'm yeah. a witness firsthand. Yeah. They have no answer. And when they know they are busted, uh, of course, you know, they are going to run, they are not going to answer, and that's what they do. And I mean, I mean, we play the video for everybody to see. Where is the refutation of uh, Farid? Where is the refutation? Only thing he did was playing a seven-year-old video. My friend, where is the refutation of uh, Mr. David Wood? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, Nothing. thank you. I don't want to waste your time, but I'm enjoying you. I'll see you soon. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> okay, thank you for bye -bye. calling. Bye-bye. God bless. Bye. Hey guys, uh, as I said, guys, um, thank you for the calls. Thank you for being here. Uh, I'm really still tired, guys, because yesterday I did a three hour and 30 minute live show. I, I was knocked out in the end, right? So let me take this last call and we'll see uh, if we can wrap this up. Oh, what happened? Can you call me back, my friend? Can you call me back? What happened? Uh, let's see. Okay. I hope it's going through. My friend, pick up the phone, please. <clears throat> Hello? Please Hello? Mute, uh, please, please mute YouTube, please. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Okay. Yeah, so um, I just want to say to you, like, you know, you're saying they commit shirk, yeah, but what about you lot? What about us lot? You're a Muslim, yeah, right? Yeah, because obviously... Wait, wait, no, you're a Muslim, right? No, 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 I'm not a Muslim. What are you then? What are you then? Me, I'm Jewish. You're Jewish. Okay, yeah. say, okay, guys, this guy claims to be Jewish. Can you say out loud, without any shame, can you say... Muhammad is a liar and a deceiver and a fake prophet. Can you do that? Yeah, yeah, I can say that. Muhammad okay, say is a, liar, a fake prophet and a deceiver. Can you say it again? But Muhammad is a fake prophet, a liar and a deceiver. And okay. Jesus is also a liar and a deceiver. Okay. Just I have no time for these idiots. <sighs> Guys. <clears throat> I have no time for these uh, idiots. I'm not allow. I'm not going to allow you to insult my Jesus. Okay, kebab. Yeah. Um, exactly, Amelia. Kebab and kebab. Yeah. Anyway, um, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here today. We hit another record. Uh, I saw people saying in the live chat. I didn't really pay attention much, but I. A new record 401 viewers thank you guys without you we cannot do this god bless you hello 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 you're alive hello. now you're a muslim right you're Fairuz? yes okay you know that's a woman's name in arabic right okay go ahead my friend hello no it's not Fairuz. it's just Firuz. oh Fairuz. okay welcome Fairuz. Go ahead, what do you want to say? Uh, you are saying it wrong. Okay, yeah. okay, go ahead. Yeah, nothing, I just wanted to uh, say that uh, 
you uh, you you, you are guys are trying you, so just hard. wait you are a sunni muslim right my friend uh, no actually i am a muslim yeah, what, what kind of muslim are you what what kind of sect do you follow no we don't have any kind of sect yeah uh, are you uh, do you follow the sunnah do you follow sahih bukhari what do you what what kind what do you what do you do actually what do you follow I do you, do you accept do you accept Sahih al Bukhari Sahih Muslim do you accept it? No, it it depends because because you know ah, actually so you you sugarcoat you 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 pick your cherries so what you like you pick what you don't like you don't want to pick is that what you want to say? No thing is that hadith is uh, made by humans so you have to be uh, very wise before uh, choosing any kind of hadith. But if it's from Sahih al-Bukhari, do you, if you don't like it, do you reject it? No, if it goes against the Quran, then uh, of course I have to reject it. Uh, only if it goes against the Quran. Okay, so you are a Sunni then? I already told you, we uh, are a Sunni. I am a Muslim. Okay. We don't Go ahead, have what do you want to say? What do you want to say? Okay, okay. Okay, brother. What do you want to say? Nothing. I, I just wanted to say that uh, you guys are trying so hard, uh, but... No, no, I'm not uh, trying hard. My friend, I just woke up. I'm not even trying. I'm not even trying. What are you talking about, man? I just woke up. I just had my breakfast. I'm not even 100% awake, man. What are you talking about? Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, stop lying. I am, I am already saying that you guys are trying so hard to... What do you want, what do you want to say? <laughs> What do you want to say, man? Please don't waste my time. We have so many people watching. Don't waste my time, please. Yeah, I just wanted to say that. Stop lying with your, uh, with your, whatever. Where whatever. did I? Where did I lie? Go ahead. Where did I lie? I'm so waiting, man. First, yeah, first you said that uh, our prophet is a god, so he's not a god. I didn't say he's God. Your Muslim apologists are saying that. The number one YouTube channel, the number one for Muslim YouTube channel, merciful servant are claiming that Muhammad is God. The, the guy that you see on the screen, this Fifi, this Farid, this idiot that you see on the screen in front of you, he is claiming that Muhammad is God of the Holy Bible. Not me, you idiot. Thank you. The, my friend, you, I, think, I think you need to check your ears. What did he say? Yeah. Go, go, go watch the video, go watch the video, and then see how he said it. Idiot. Man, don't waste my time, man. Idiot, man. Waste of time, man. Why did he say? Uh, my friend, you are here, you have no idea what this today's live show is about. Why did he say that? Go watch it. Watch it, then call me back. Don't waste my time. No, uh, it's not buffering, Handy. It's you. It's you, all right? It's not buffering. It's from your side. Refresh. Idiot, man. Waste my time, man. You have no idea what uh, today's topic. I have a very specific topic. Top today's topic is this idiot here that you see on the screen. That's the topic. Yes, Feroz. Yeah. So you, so you don't have any proof. That's why you hang up my call. Like a coward. Like a coward you are. I already knew that. Uh, Abdul, listen, you're the coward, your prophet is a coward, your Muslim shiuch and imams are cowards because they don't dare to call it. They only send kids like you to us. I know who you are. You're the guy who always keep calling Christian Prince and Christian Prince barbecues you and then you keep calling. You know, you Muslims don't learn. You, you love to be spanked and this is why you keep calling. What do you want to add about my topic today? Go ahead. I, I already told you, show me the food where, uh, where we said Watch that the was. video, watch the video and see how we barbecue them. Don't waste my time. Idiot. Don't waste my time, man. Idiot. The same guy. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I heard his voice on Christian Prince. Christian Prince, guys, to be honest with you, I'm going to be very honest with you. I don't have the same patience that our dear brother, the legend himself, Mr. Christian Prince. I don't have the same patience. If you if you want to call, we have a very short video, window today. Very short, small window today. Don't waste my time. I'm still very tired. I said it when I already started today's live show. You want to add something to my topic of today? Go ahead. But you have no clue what we're talking about. You call me to waste my time. What's wrong with you, man? He's calling me a liar, but he has no idea what we talked about today. Kids, man. Uh, let's see if we... <clears throat>
Last, last call, guys. Last call. <clears throat> SK, are you there, my friend? SK? Mute you to please. Yep, so how come you cut off earlier on? What? How come you ended the call earlier on when I was asking you? Yeah, I'm all, we're always running. You don't see? We're always running. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Yeah, I'd like to agree with you first that, you know, Fifi, in his yeah. video, yeah. he does uh, do shirk. He says uh, uh, that Muhammad is uh, the same as God. Thank you. So but, we have a Muslim but, here, yeah. guys. We have a Muslim. No, no, I'm not, I'm not a Muslim. I'm not a Muslim. You're Don't not call a Muslim. me. Oh, you're not a Muslim. Oh, what no. are you then? What are you then? Ex. You're ex-Muslim? Yep. Ah, you're an ex-Muslim. Okay. So what do you want to say? Can you be stay on topic, please? So what is you, today's you, so so you are an ex-Muslim. You left Islam yep. because you know you know that Muhammad is a false prophet. Good, and yep. you just uh, you just agree as an ex-Muslim that Farid is a liar and a seer. Thank you. What do you want to add on to today's topic? What do you want to add on today's topic? Go ahead. Um, I'll just give you another few points that, uh, you know that from the knowledge that I have. Uh, obviously, if you read the Quran, it says Muhammad was allowed more wives that he, than he allowed. Um, okay, uh, we know, we know, we know. Muhammad is a, a filthy uh, sex leader, a cult leader who loves sex with women. You don't have to tell me that. That's not my topic today, guys. Please, okay, don't waste my time. Let me close my Skype, okay, guys. I'm not going to take any Skype calls, right? I'm tired, but as we said in before we started today's live show, guys. We had to do a live show to expose this liar, this deceiver, who according to his prophet is going to end in hellfire. He's going to take his seat in hellfire for saying that Muhammad is God of the Holy Bible. And Muhammad Hijab himself too is going to end up in hellfire for saying that Muhammad is equal to Allah because Allah is praising, praising, praying for Muhammad. Right? And all the Muslim audience of these liars and deceivers are going to end in hellfire too for accepting their deception and lies. It's your funeral, Muslims. Today is the proof that these liars, these deceivers are bankrupt. They have to lie. They have to show everybody that Muhammad is God of the Holy Bible. Guys, thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your donations. God bless you. Uh, Patricia Pay says, God bless you, Rob Christian. May he give you strength for the task ahead. Thank you so much, sister. God bless you. Thank you for the donation. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks for the callers. Thanks for the warriors who call us Islam Critique. Please, guys, support our dear brother, Islam Critique. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Uh, to, to the other warriors who call us, help them out too, guys. Thank you for the amazing goals, Christians. Thank you for confirming that these... Liars, these deceivers, are nothing but bankrupt deceivers. They have no shame, they have no honor and no dignity claiming that God himself is Muhammad. We refuted them on everything that, is, that they said, quoting Deuteronomy 33.2, saying that that's Muhammad, while well, we know it's God, and those 10,000 are the angels of God, not Abduls, not the Sahaba of Muhammad. As Muslims love to tell you. Liars, shame on you. So Muhammad Hijab, Farid, all of you idiots. You're nothing but liars and deceivers. You're nothing but mushrikun, mushrikeen. Right? And you, Mr. Mr. Farid, Farid, uh, Farida, Farida, I know you're listening. I know my video is going to reach you. Repent for claiming that Muhammad is God of the Holy Bible. Claiming that Muhammad is God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Shame on you. But we know you have no shame. But if there's any decency in you. Because you had the audacity to make a video trying to refute David Wood. And you failed because you didn't do that. You only played a seven-year-old video. Repent. Ya Mushrik, repent. You became an apostate. Are you going to repent publicly? Because you had the audacity to upload a video publicly on YouTube? Do you have the audacity now to repent for your shirk? 
It's your funeral, Mr. Farida. Guys, thank you for calling. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for your support, your amazing support. Another record today, 401 views according to our admins. Wow. Wow, wow. I'm speechless, guys. Thank you so much. God bless you guys. Thank you for being here. Lord willing, we will see each other in a future live show. Jesus is Lord and Muhammad is nothing but a fake prophet, a wannabe prophet, a false prophet. Jesus is Lord, Allah is nothing else, no one else but Satan and Muhammad is the agent of Satan. Thanks you, thank you for watching and 